Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. We're back with Mike in his beautiful 2008 Highlander. And this is, uh, God, it's such a good running vehicle. It's crazy how good it is. Just keep going a little more. Go down to the light, say. And uh, we're with Hamlet. Hamlet's the official racer on the channel. And uh, we're going to be doing the ATF fluid change. That was the filter you just saw that box. We're going to head back to uh, the house. But take a look. This is a Vegas night edition. So that's the stratosphere, that big old tower down there. That's one of the big landmarks here in Las Vegas. So we're gonna head back to the house and uh, time to go ahead and, well, nail out the trans. We're gonna start by draining her down. Let's do it. Go ahead. All right, that's before, we're good. Three, two, one. Like butter, like butter, wow, awesome. All right, before we put in the beautiful 100% synthetic liquid cherry, we gotta do a little something, and uh, this car is a real stickler. So Hamlet's gonna explain what we're doing. So what are we doing? So we gotta lift the motor about this much so that we can get to the bolts that are sitting right against the pan. Or awesome. right against the frame. So it's super tough to get in there. There's these bolts and there's this big lip, so point so to that long. lip. There's this huge lip so you gotta that's right that. in there. And now we got some light coming. There it is. All these to get. So there's those bolts right there. And they're pretty darn tough to get to. And they go all the way around. And uh, once you get those off, you're good to go. And then we can change out the filter. So this frame is in the way. So what we're doing is he's going to loosen this bolt right here. And after that's loose, that's gonna allow us to flex this whole uh, thing up. So what do we got here? What size is this? Uh, one inch, 13, 13, 16. So we got a 13, 16 socket right there on that big old boot. up about that much. All maybe, right. Maybe just this much. All right. Not so, too much. All right, so now we're gonna be able to flex it and we're gonna be able to push this up with the jack. So we got some cardboard here, and now we should be able to uh, flex it up enough to get in there. So this little angel is going to one of you guys. Should we open it? Oh my God. Open it again. Oh my God. <laughs> do it. Okay. Do it. I'll do the Vanna White thing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God. Yellow. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look at this sucker. Look oh, at the keypads. Yes, she's a beaut. Oh my god, that's a half inch torque wrench. <laughs> and this is the new version, just so you know. It goes up to 300 foot pounds. 300? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the bad boy. Oh my god. I can't even feel my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's going to jack it up a little bit more and then we're going to get a little more room. Boom. And boom, we should be good. So now we got it up about what, half inch? And that should give us the room here to get in there easy. Mike is happy. All right, we got his sucker lifted about, what would you call it, about an inch. All right, so it's lifted. We can get easily get in here, get some fingers in there. We can get a little teeny one quarter socket in there. And now we're good to go. So we're gonna drop our nuts. We just drain her right here. We got our 10 millimeter Allen key. When that shit's black. And now we're gonna go ahead and start dropping Ooh. our nuts. That's what ATF's worried about. Huh? We're coming out. Let's see what she looks like. She looks like Royal Poo Poo. Ugh. Ooh, there she blows. I'm going to help you in a second. Oh, jeez. That's not liquid cherry. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> watch that end. Watch that end. I got it. I got no, no, no. The back end. Watch that yeah. corner. No, the put corner. Put your hand the in the corner. corner. Yeah, yeah. Just put your hand on the corner. Yep. Yeah. You're good. Good. Awesome. So we're just going to drain it first and then we'll drop our pan and then we'll be able to get to our filter. So this is definitely some expired fluid. 12 year fluid? Yeah, 2008. And this has only 70,000 miles. So, so the miles is very important to make sure you get this done. On a car like this, if it was mine, I'd do it every 30,000 miles. Just depends on how much you care about your car. Or how easy it is to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Luckily, my window is easy. 
If we do it this way. Yep. So this is the angle we're nailing her from. We've got a little quarter inch ratchet on there and we're using even a cheap ratchet. We're just using a little um, one quarter snap on, or well, not snap on, uh, Craftsman. So he's just finding that. Sears. A little bit of a shtickler. There we go. And there we go. Got it. Might have to use the wrench, huh? So it's still a stickler. I think that's tightening, right? I thought I was loosening the first time. The mystique of the Toyota gets in your head a little bit. Once you're screwing with this thing, it's amazing. But we're gonna nail her out. We're gonna get that pan off. He's just battling. So you can see it's gonna take some time, but we're gonna get that pan off and we'll show you what the filter looks like. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's good to have one of those little ratchets that spin in the middle, man. Yeah, remember, we Look at all that blue there. Loctite. Look at that sucker. Hmm. So you have to wrench from start to finish. It doesn't loosen up. You have to just keep going and going and going. To battles. Coming to battles. Can you just hit this one too or no? Yeah, I can. Can I get the light over here? Yep. Right there. He's gonna let you Perfect. Go. I yeah. got it. Good. Got it. Yeah, this thing's got power. All right, we got her cracked loose. We're gonna drop it down. We're good. We're gonna spill it right towards us. You see the little residual come out, nice. Lots of good metallic in the bottom of that pan. Mike's got it. And there is our filter. So there's all the little wires and stuff like that. Boy, there's some good metallic in there. Awesome, so we're gonna clean up that. That's the inside of the bolt. We're gonna clean that up nice. And uh, we're gonna get to this filter and pop off that filter. Just a bunch of just 10 mil, okay, looks like it's uh, just a couple of 10 mil bolts. Just take a towel and wipe across the whole thing. Let's see what it looks like. All the soot, no, not right much. Here. Watch right here on these magnets. Though. Let's do a magnet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Look at all that, what's this one? Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you definitely want to change it well before uh, seventy thousand. You more like about well, probably thirty-five thousand if you're doing normal. If you're doing all highway, you're good for about fifty. Right. So we're just popping off this gasket. It's coming off pretty good. Looks like we're not going to really need to razor it. Looks like we're going to escape without doing a whole lot of scraping. Nice. We're out of the uh, dungeons. We're just gonna nail it with some parts cleaner, get the residue out of there, all that little metallic stuff, and that's it. We are we got the new filter here, just three bolts on it. He's gonna crack her loose, rip her off. Maybe you wanna come to the other side. All right, we're good right here, good. So we're just loosening her up. Got our bolt there. Our bolt there, money. And our bolt there. Awesome. And now it's like a good scare. Every scary movie, the killer always comes back to life. So you'll see what I mean. Here it goes. And there she blows. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> when you think all the fluid's out. All right. So we'll just get rid of that little booger. Slap in our new one. Just pressure fits right up and in there. Grab it right there and should go in like butter. Awesome. You see that little teeny O-ring there. This is the valve body. Yeah? Yep. It's so important to keep that clean because the fluid flows through all those little parts. 
very, 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 very important to take care of that. The Thrones Mission. Look at that. Those little parts there. That's amazing. We're going to flush it three times, so. All right. Let's do it. Oh, this one has a new one. Take this one out. Yep. Just finger that little rubbers out. There you go. He's got it. Wet the new one. Yep. Lube up the new one. And slip, slip, slip her in. And I tell you what, it pressure fits in there like butter. I mean, it takes like nothing. That's it. There it is. It flushes up. And once it flushes up, all you do is put the little bolts back in and you tighten it down to about six pounds of torque. Very, very light. You can easily strip these aluminum bolts. You can see how small they are. They're so small, it's unbelievable. These are that small question. Very, small. very, very delicate little threads on this little boogers. So you tighten this beautiful, beautiful, clean, clear red cherry. He's gonna wet the gasket. This is one of his techniques he likes to do. Just get it nice and wet. Anytime you get it wet, it's always a sure bet. There we go. Nice. So get her all nice and lubed. Bring her up and uh, just remember oil pan gaskets on like oil pans and transmission pans are not super tight. So most of them are all about eight to 12 pounds. You can look it up on the Toyota spec, I saw it. Most of them are all, depending on which one you look up, it's like eight to 13 pounds is what the range so what is. you do is hold it like this, uh, Mike. Mm -hmm. You hold it like this with your two fingers, mm -hmm. and as tight as you can go with two fingers. Don't grab the wrench over here, just right here. There you go. And that's all it is, and your fingers will slip before it goes too tight. Yes. And that's it. Because if you tighten it too much, you can bend the pan, and you can also actually pinch the side of the gasket out and it can actually crack it and leak it. So that's it. You're good to go. It's just they're going. Here we go. All hey, right. It's fluid. <laughs> Here we go. The liquid cherry is going in. Mike's got the honors. Look at this beautiful. Ooh. Pure 100% synthetic cherry. And it takes a little bit of time. Got a little bottleneck there, yep. And uh, you just kind of let it happen. So, this fluid, and you say, well, Eben, why are you so passionate about the liquid cherry? Why you make such a big deal about it? Well, come on over, take a look. This fluid is good for double the severe service of OEM. So you can actually double the interval of an OEM service of severe service. So this fluid is so good, uh, you're actually good for um, every 18 degrees hotter in ATF fluid runs, it oxidizes twice as fast. So you'll see all the specifications it meets and exceeds, all the Honda, VW, Mercedes, um, tons of different fluids. So that's the thing about motor oil, transmission fluid, um, coolant, the hotter it runs, it oxidizes a lot and it's exponential. So every 18 degrees hotter, the transmission fluid runs, it oxidizes at twice the rate. So uh, we're gonna have a lot more protection and then there's gonna be no impurities in this. So a lot of ETF fluid that's synthetic is not 100% synthetic, it's a synthetic blend. So it has like a mixture of mineral oil, so when your car is cold, you'll notice, man, my car doesn't shift good. It kind of, it just shifts okay. And then when it warms up, it shifts better. Well, when you switch over to this, that kind of goes away. There's no more cold shifting. When it's cold, it shifts like it's warm. So it's that good. So we're letting it drain in. We're putting 3.7 quarts in. We're gonna go shred around the block, check our fluid level on our dipstick. And then we're gonna come back and drain and fill it three times. Total fill is nine quarts, and uh, I think Mike's gonna motor up. We're gonna go through park reverse drive, park reverse drive. And uh, when you cycle through park and reverse drive, that's gonna uh, circulate all the fluid. 
and then uh, we'll go around the block and we'll see how she shifts. Want me to check that now? Yeah, go ahead. Just throw it in reverse. It's cold outside, so we're gonna let it warm for ten minutes. Oh yeah, we we're gonna we'll go shred around. Yeah, so we'll do that and go through drive, and he's just gonna cycle through, and that's cycling it through the torque converter. Smoother, a lot smoother. Get some good heat in the transmission. So we're getting some good heat in the trans right now, and uh, we're gonna go back and drain her down again. How's she feeling, Mike? Very smooth, the shifts and everything. You can you can you can feel like you, you, it's going like it. Very still the gas pedal. Awesome. So the four-wheel drive model has nine and a half quarts of uh, total fill. We just drained. 3.7 we put three and a half back in we're gonna go back and uh, check our level just so we have a good reference of where we're at we'll drain her again go driver and drain and fill her again so we're gonna do a triple drain and fill that's gonna swap out all the fluid and uh, we're gonna be golden this little awesome. angel awesome. this little angel okay. we're gonna go ahead and drain her down we got the dipstick out the fluid is super hot, it should come flying out. It should look a lot better, but it's still not gonna be perfect because we only changed See, uh, three and a half quarts of the nine and a half. It's, it's so purple wow. still. Wow, it still has the OEM look. That come look uh, so purple, Mike? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Oh man. So that's all you gotta do with proper three times. So everybody's like, oh man. Look wow. Well, that's not red anymore. So, let's let them know, Hamlet. What do they do at the dealerships? Oh, they do one drain and fill. And that's it. They let everything stay in the torque converter. They let everything uh, stay. stay. But they charge you like they do it three times. Yep, so you say even. Why do you say dealerships? Well, dealer the sheep. dealer does the deal, and you're the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Doing some more heat cycles. This is our second fill, so we're just driving her, making sure everything's circulating good. Running good. Yeah, we went over yeah, 61. So it's really running smooth. So we're gonna get a couple more heat cycles in. We're gonna go back and do our last drain and fill. That'll be the third one. Alright, our last drain and fill. We're gonna drop her out. Let's see what she looks like. She should look a lot better. Oh yeah, she's looking better. Oh yeah, that exhaust is hot. It is hot, and that fluid should be good and hot. Eh, a little bit hotter. And there oh, she blows. She's still ugly as fuck. Yeah, she's a dirty little one. <laughs> she's dirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was playing hard to get earlier with those damn bolts in there. You can't get in there. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna let her drain down. Time to feel her up. This is our last feel. This is it. Beautiful. He's got the slot mastered. <laughs> Steve, that's how you know you're yes, the right way. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know it gets wet. As long as it gets wet after the slap, that's all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> and the liquid cherry's going in. That beautiful lead liquid, that uh, red liquid gold and this is worth more than the value of gold to your transmission and when you feel it that's how you know how valuable it is the extended life of the transmission you don't have, won't be stranded you won't be out there in the middle of the desert asking yourself why why didn't i put in the liquid cherry beautiful money so now we're going to go do our last heat cycle. We're going to check our ATF fluid after we get it nice and hot. A good hot ATF fluid is about 150 to 190. Uh, the dipstick has a range on it. You want it to be somewhere in the range. You don't want to overfill it because it can come out. Uh, but uh, you just want to make sure you're not low either. 
and uh, the hotter the fluid gets, it actually rises on that dipstick. So we're gonna go uh, rip around. All right, so we're doing our last heat cycle, and uh, man, Mike, what do you think? Man, it's smooth, super smooth, shifting through the gears. You'll see it, you'll feel it. Well, I don't know about the viewers, but we can. <laughs> Vegas night edition. <laughs> our final check we're just going to show you for reference so we got her super hot and we should be good it should be right in the middle we got her idling she looks right at the full marker yeah uh, huh. what do you clean it again let's take a look at it one more time make sure it's really good and wiped all the way up top well yeah just make sure it's man usually it comes up a little higher let me see what that looks like one more time. Huh. Let's see what we got. Flip it. Huh. Not hitting the dipstick very good, huh? No. I think we need a little more. Yeah. I think. Right, we're doing a uh, after pull. Three, two, one. Like butter, like butter. Wow, awesome. All right, time to go back and uh, check, our, check our dipstick, make sure it's right in the middle. We got her good and hot. She should be 160 degrees now. Um, it's so cold out right now, it's tough to get it up to 190, 200, but you wanna just make sure you're in the middle of the dipstick and uh, you wanna check it with an idling and park and with the car hot. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and uh, check out the transfer case video on the car. We did the transfer case, the rear diff, and uh, special thanks to Hamlet for being in the battles, doing everything. And uh, yeah, we did the engine flush and the motor oil, so check those videos out here in the middle. And if you want to leave a uh, comment within the first 30 minutes, that's how you get in my end of month giveaway. So leave that comment. I randomly select people. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. We will see you back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection. Oh, check out this playlist in the middle.